Can sure. I taste your juice? Say schnitzel. Schnitzel. No. Schnitzel. Schnitzel. No. Schnitzel. Schnitzel. <laughs> that was the best. All right, guys. So here we go. Part two. Part two of the uh, the Hall of Vape in uh, Stuttgart, Germany, um, 2018. So now we're going to head over to the uh, the Modders Gallery. The Modders Gallery. And I believe, I believe one of the largest Modders Galleries uh, ever at a show. As a matter of fact, what I'm doing right now is I'm walking around. I'm going to walk the entire Modders Gallery so that you can see the, uh, the, the number of Modders that were at this show. Um, just some really, really beautiful pieces, uh, works of art, uh, you know, special mods, uh, mods that you can't see and hold and feel uh, other places, and that would be like stabilized wood stuff, acrylic stuff, boxes, squonkers, mechanicals, uh, tanks, you name it, it was all there, uh, and you could certainly spend a lot of money in the Modders Gallery. Let's finish this walkthrough. So yeah, a massive, massive modders gallery. Uh, you, you could spend hours just there looking at some of the really, really cool things uh, that they had there. Not only did they have like the modders gallery, but there was a lot of hardware there. There were a lot of hardware companies. Obviously, Inigan was there. That's where we hung out. We saw Segeli there, Vaporesso, Geek Vape, a lot, a lot of uh, you know hardware manufacturers. But also something else that I saw there, it, it, which was something that we used to see at vape shows years ago was like um just large tables of gear for sale kind of like a um, like a flea market style um wh where you just have like these huge tables of all these battery chargers and devices and tanks and just and, and show specials too right um and, and that's something that we saw years ago and it's something that like we don't see a lot at the uh, the vape shows anymore and i think we should see more of that um, you know, like give people the opportunity to to, to, to buy stuff and, and to get a deal at a vape show. I mean, wh where else would you go for a deal on vape gear than at a vape show? So I thought that was cool. But let's get into the uh, the interviews at the, uh, the Modders Gallery. And this first one, this one is one that I've been wanting to get for a long time. But most of the time, most of the time, you can't even get near this booth. Uh, but in this case, I guess they couldn't sell because of some TPD regulation. Look, I don't know. But let's hear from Paolo from Frankenskull. All right, guys, Hall of Ape 2018, and I'm here with Paolo from Frankenskull Mods. And you know, every event that we go to, Paolo, your booth causes chaos. <laughs> chaos. We saw you in Germany last year and France. What do you attribute all the success that you have had with your deal? Where, where does all the success come from? I think for, for the size, the new materials, the hyperconductivity of the of the box, I was I think the first in introduced the um, silver plate, this solid silver plate in the me mechanical box, and I think it's for this reason, for the for the brand too, for the, the image of the brand maybe. Sure, there's always a hype that goes along, and you guys got great marketing, I get it, but also the device has to work. If the vapor does not enjoy it, you're not going to be that successful yeah, that you are now. It's, it's, it's a box that works very well. It's yeah. really simple to use and, and work well. It, it, what has always been impressed is the size as well, too. Your boxes have been very, very, very small, but they work fantastic. Yeah, because it, the, 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 a lot of work of my box is made by hand. 
then I, I try to make every piece um, different from others. Yeah. And then I think when a, when a, when a, when a person buy one of these, it's, it's a unique piece. Yeah. A lot of people say it's just plastic, but I think no, it's not, not just plastic. Right. I have a work uh, behind, you know. Right. I think, yeah. and, and I think even for me and Phil, when we first saw your, some of your first designs, we saw the same thing as well too, because no, you just don't know. No. But how did the concept of how did you decide to fer to make your first box mount? Because when I started vaping in BF, uh, the box are really really high, not very conductive. I, I was vaping with, with uh, 22 millimeters uh, RDA, and this time uh, doesn't exist the RDA with B BF system. For then I have to mod every, and I need more power for my for my box. Yes. I, I I like and I was liking. A different type of um, vaping because um, four years ago the, the, the bottom feeder was more uh, uh, the direction was more for MTL than more a cloud or a flower chase. Yes. Then I need this uh, more power. More power. Yeah. More power. Yeah. And then I build the first one for this. Reason. So what is your your latest piece that you got that you have uh, releasing? Colored Ultems Helios. This is Ultem release. Not the, the classic yellow, and uh, the Winnie. This is a little toy. It's a 1855 mode. With 18, 1855 18, battery. 1855 mode. Oh. 55 volts. Uh, well. And how about the single battery? Yeah, that, and, that yeah, one's the one that we the, saw last the time. The Shindila. Shindila. Yeah. Shindila really small. Yeah. I think it is most mold match in the market. Yeah. A single 18650 battery yeah, here, yes, squonk bottle on the bottom, yes, and just to correct the pitch. Probably one of the smallest squonk Yes, probably, yeah. probably, yes, because it's 7438. It's really, really small. So can you talk a little bit about the internals and how you make everything? Yes, all the internally are silver plates, solid silver, made by hand. All the process, I start from ingots, I learn. And it's a jewelry process because I'm jeweler yeah. in reality. I'm jeweler and um, professional engraver. Yeah. This is my real job. That's your real job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And this is part of my job, my job, but it's not. It's not your full-time gig. Job. No, it's, it's fun. It's fun for me. It's fun. Absolutely, Paolo. How important is feedback from the people? You know, your customers. They always come in and tell you, "Hey, Paolo, we want this. We want that." How important is it for you to listen to them? It's really important. Yeah. The, the, the feedback of the, the customer is all, yeah. I think. But well, I think that people is happy with yeah. this product. Oh, absolutely! It's, listen, we've seen people actually fight for these yeah. mods. Well, I'm going to ask him, uh, a couple questions for him. Uh, number one. Does he have security for the booth tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> so when, when the doors open up for uh, consumers to come in, you have to have some security around, right? Yes, yes. In uh, London, I have security. In Paris, too. Yeah. But now, this show is a bit more particular because due to the TPD regulation, we can't, you know, we have, we are not allowed to sell this type yes. of products. Yeah. Because in Germany, they need to be under the, the TPD regulation. The six-month uh, submission. Yeah. yeah. Then, and this is great because we've been trying to get this interview for a while now. Yeah. But what happens is we get here, there's a, a thousand people around the booth. You sell out in two hours and then you leave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we tried to get an interview last year. We tried to get an interview in France and we just couldn't do it. So yeah. no, It's nice. It's nice yes. that people can, can, can pass and, and see what, what I do. Because generally, after 10 minutes, I'm also yeah, out. And out yeah. and well, one more very important piece of information. You're okay. Paolo, you make one of the most popular, one of the most sought-after mods today, and your nationality is what now? It's Italian. Uh, Italian. Mm -hmm. It's a very rare gem in this industry, <laughs> divine. It's a unicorn <laughs> in the sea of Greeks. Uh, why well, I have one question because me and Phil, we we are MTL vapors, yeah. so we we always like to vape regulated. Yeah. Do you have any plans of making a regulated chip mod? I have made. I have made some regulated. Maybe. Um, in the future, I, I will I, I will make something. Okay, I guess we're gonna in the future we might have to fight for one at some point we'll to get together the mod. Yeah. Congratulations on all your success. Thank you, Thank you very much for talking to us. Good to meet you. Very good to meet you. Finally, finally. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paolo. Thank Appreciate it. Thank you. And and Paolo wound up being a really nice guy, nice guy to talk to. Um, uh, you know, broken English uh, because he did he is Italian and it's uh, like Dimitri said, it's it's a unicorn because a lot of the modders, a lot of the modders are from Greek. So when I run into an Italian. 
Italian, especially an Italian that has a very sought after mod, of course I have to, you know, point that out to uh, to Dimitri as much as possible. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes you have an, an opinion about a device or about a product and then you meet the person behind it and that might change your opinion a little bit. So uh, it was really good to meet Paolo and it, it was uh, good to finally talk to the guy because that booth is always so darn crowded. And also, uh, Dimitri, I, I've warned him so many times, I've told him so many times, don't put that microphone so close to your mouth because it, it does it does, it, it does overdrive the audio. But there's something about him and long, hard objects that he, I guess he just wants closer to his mouth. I don't understand it. In the night, na 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 na, strangers in the night. Ah, I'm no. not ready. No, be ready. Okay, take your time. Take it up. He's not. Are you recording? He's not ready. We have to. We have to. Uh, he's almost ready. He's almost as a diva as you are. He's a little bit of a diva. I mean, he really is. When it comes to his stuff, he is a little bit diva-ish. We gotta take the. Uh... Yeah. Yes. I mean, no. You take your time. We'll, don't worry. We'll okay. talk. We'll okay. we'll show your you, stuff. You in. make the, the presentation. Yeah, I'll make the presentation. Uh, hi, I'm Vasilis from um, <laughs> from yeah from Ismogoro, and this is my new case. Look at this. Look how beautiful this is. So. You know, being the diva that I am, right? I want to have an absolutely beautiful case to display my atomizers. High end. Uh, my high, very high end, of course, very high end. And so, our, uh, my atomizers now come in this box right here, and um, you can see right here how it screws in to this space right here. Absolutely beautiful. So it looks like it's almost floating in there, and then I have this uh, beautiful acrylic. Yes, okay. Acrylic. I, I know it's my own, but I just want to make sure. I want to make sure for for my uh, the guy who works in my factory. Yes. I want to make sure that uh, that I got it right. And it's just acrylic piece. right here. It goes like that, and, and an absolutely beautiful way to display my atomizers because I believe in true high end, and and everything about my atomizer is true high end. So thank you. And you can find these at uh, www.tasteyourjuice.com. <laughs> All proceeds go to the uh, the People Starter Retirement Fund. And of course, the uh, the Dimitri Hair Club for Men. Yes, there we go. Very, very, very nice. Like, okay. So now, should we introduce you to the actual guy here, <laughs> Vasilis? Man, it's so good to Hello, see you. My it friend. is so good to see you. Um, I speak very highly of your atomizers. You know, I love your atomizers. Thank you very much. Please. And uh, so, do you, or do you have something new to show? Yes. What do you have? This is uh, the new RDA, uh, okay. the Skyfall, and uh, we have uh, the legacy of the air disc from the Skyline, okay. as you remember. Yep. But we have them now complete in stainless steel, 316L, oh, and it's okay. absolute high precision made. So we don't need any O-rings or something like that to click them inside, and please push it inside so you can see how good it fits. Are you kidding me? And it's, it's inside and... And that's without O-rings? Yes, without O-rings, any O-rings. And if you want, you can use other you edges, so you can have MTL vaping, or middle vaping, or with more right. airflow. Oh my God, you're, you're like dude. I, I want to, uh, hopefully you're going to hear this click. This is done without O-rings. All right, so I'm going to pop it out again. I'm just going to sit it in there. And I'll put the microphone by it. I, 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 unbelievable. Unbelievable. So when we were at your shop in Greece, I mean, yeah, you, you really took us through. You actually opened up the books. And you showed us all the pieces and the parts and the components that go into your atomizers. Yes. And you have this theory about high end, what high end should be. And high end should be sourcing the very best of everything you can possibly get. I mean, that's that's how you work. Materials and machining, yes. Right. So talk to me about the uh, the, the materials and the machining in a piece like that. The, the Skyfall, the materials are uh, all stainless steel parts are from 316L stainless steel. Uh, food grade, of course, chirurgical uh, stainless steel. Um, the O-rings we used, we have uh, found uh, now a little bit more expensive O-rings and better. <laughs> <laughs> the O-rings are made in Germany and uh, are EPDM food grade and FDA approved and are very, very soft. If you, if you see in many artists, when you, when you get in, you can come out very easy. And now, check it for yourself. How easy it is to come out and in I don't with the this. perfect fit. 
it's not to lose and not to without yeah, any very, juice very now. Smooth. Okay, yeah, when that, you, right, when you right. get a little bit juice. Dimitri doesn't have that problem though. He, it's very easy for him to go in and out. Both very <laughs> simple, very easy. Of course, for the insulator, we under the positive post we have used a pick, a Ketron pick. It's foot grade two. Um, the air disc are machined from 316L2, like I said to you before, and uh, almost the complete atomizer is uh, machined in a five-axis machine. Amazing. Because we have no squares, it's fully rounded. You see here, mm -hmm. you can you can see the roundings, and here too. And if you get your fingers inside, you can uh, feel what I mean. Yeah, like everything in here is rounded and smoothed out. And so, no, not from him. No, no. Unbelievable. Now Thank this you. this does not have a bell or the bell is built into the cap? The, yes, it's, it's in, in the cap here. It's flush and now you can go inside with outside here this cap. Okay. This is a metal body and here you can choose this insert and you can turn it to regulate your airflow and of course you can uh, choose the different discs. The different, yeah. the different uh, parts of this right. in Ultem or in white Delrin this is black Delrin. and um, so they're they're extremely configurable. I mean, you could change the look yes, as to whatever you, you want. And we get, saw that. Yeah, you can get an even a complete cup. You see? Yeah, it's one complete. Yeah, absolutely. It is made from gorgeous. black peak. It's a new material. Black uh, peak. Black peak. Yes, it's very very nice, and it's interesting. It is. All right. So talk about your new uh, your new case. Come on, I know you're Our proud of it. Our new case. Yes. Our new case. You presented it I already. Did. I did. I do a good job presenting um, it. We want, uh, I, I wanted to have a case, uh, something special, okay? So not any case, uh, the box you, you smash in, in the corner. You have uh, something handmade, uh, complete from uh, walnut uh, and uh, oak, yeah, I, I don't know the oak. word. Oak. Oak, yes. Walnut and oak. oak, okay. Yes. Like a display box. Of course. You know? You have your ati here inside and you can Beautiful. send it there. Uh, Where did the uh, Skyfall name come from? Our first atomizer was the, the Skyline and uh, we wanted to have the, the word Sky inside, okay, and uh, we chose Skyfall because I, the name was right in my... And it's shorter too. Yes, and yeah. it's shorter. My friend Vasilis from Thank Greece. Thank you very much. Thank you for not speaking Greek, I appreciate that. If you want that, the regular Ati, take the Ares and you are perfect. <laughs> That's nice of you. That, that is really, really nice. nice. He did that in Greece too, and I know I, I really, really appreciate really that. Appreciate oh my God, lots of luck with everything, man. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Always Thank will you, be one of my favorite yeah. atomizers. Hey, uh, Hall of Ape, uh, Hall of Ape 2018, and another Greek guy, feel your favorite, right? Yeah, another yeah. Greek modder. Yeah. I'm here with John from El Cigart. And uh, if you've known them uh, for a very long time, they make the Lernea Hydra Mechanical Mod, one of the innovative switches in the market. And now we've got a new product that he wants to show us here. It's a new squonker that you have, John, right? The new squonker is the Blasphemy. Uh, it's full mechanical with the same button of the Hydra. Full engraved. And we have an, also some uh, others with uh, Seracote DC. So, what makes this a little bit unique, and uh, something that I don't think I've ever seen before, is that usually in these squonkers, you have a side trigger button or a top trigger button. On this one right here, we actually have a button that fires on the bottom, which is really, really unique. And is this customizable, John? Can you remove yes. the tube? Can you do a... Customizable, we can make a lot of colors in the tubes, like the tubes of the Hydra, in a lot of colors, like that, full Seracote. And there's the military edition, of course. Yes. And you also have a new project that you've been working on. Uh, by the way, uh, what is the price on the, on the Blasphemy? The price of the Blasphemy is 390 euro. And these are available where people are interested to find some more information on Facebook? Yes. In the Vapors Boutique in uh, Greece is the shop that we have already have in, uh, in Greece. So you can search Vapors Boutique on Facebook as well too. They have a Facebook page and a Facebook group as well too. But this is what I'm interested in right here. Another project. Is this your project yes. or is this a collaboration? It's a, it's a project of uh, El Cigart directly. We make something like with uh, something unique that we take the air from the behind and put it directly down from the coil with 45 degrees. Very simple to, to use it because we have, you know, to post very big holes for make the, you know, to put the inside the, the coil. And we have here left and right uh, areas for, for the wick. Down from the ramp, we have, uh, you know, two holes for go directly the liquid in uh, left and right the wick. So this is going to be bottom feeding and top feeding, of bottom, obviously. Bottom, bottom feeding. But what's really interesting, you can't even see where the liquid's coming up from. If you look inside, yes. 
if you look inside the deck, look, it looks like there's nothing in there, but there's actually two holes on the side of that little Delrin. Uh, is that the material that you use here? Is that Delrin on the bottom, John? Uh, peak. Peak. Yes, his peak is for temperature. I will show you directly how it will be all the, the parts of this. That's a really unique design with the air coming in from the side. Yeah. And this kind of this does not look like a direct lung atomizer, but this is semi-restricted. The draw. Yeah, it's a. Uh, this is the ramp that we use. This is, as you see, the holes down that goes the liquid from the left and the right wick. Also, we have. This is the positive. Negative. And we have also in the insulator peak also. As you know, the peak, we have a lot of peak inside that is more expensive than the stainless steel. Yeah. For that, the reason the price goes to 140 140 yeah. dollars, yeah. Because of uh, all this work that needs for to make it uh, in the CNC. Interesting. Well, another, some more innovation from Greece. Unfortunately, none from Italy, Phil, so don't feel bad. All right, all right, don't feel bad. But thank you so much, John. Continued success with your products. Thank you very much. I am here with Mod Addy, Tanasis, and uh, Kiri? Kiri, 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 okay. And all I heard when I came over here, there was a lot of Greek. Yeah. There was a lot of Greek. And now you're going to speak English up for me. What's yep. your favorite word in Greek? What's your favorite word in Greek? Uh, tzatziki is, well, tzatziki <laughs> is one of them, but Malaka. 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 Yes. Malaka. No, no, Malaka. That's all of because of Kiri. <laughs> it is. Kiri spread the whole world in the he whole He just story. shouts it, just out yep. random, just yep. shouts it out. And Dimitri gave me a lot of background on Malaka. Malaka can be, hey, Malaga. Yeah. And it can be, oh, Malaka. <laughs> yeah. It's like two different yeah. ways. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like in English, right? Yeah, it's yeah. the same thing. So you have made, you've created one of my favorite mods here. I mean, this oh, is, you. it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is, and this is a very original piece, and we're going to talk about this piece. Damascus steel battery tube, um, the the stabilized wood. Do we know what kind of wood this is? Uh, I think that's a maple barrel. And when, now Dimitri has the same one, and it's made from the same block of wood, and when we put them together, it does form a heart. So yes. I mean, that's like very, very special. That was the whole idea, to make you a bromance uh, piece of a uh, pair of uh, mods. And it, it, it really means a lot to, to me, and to, I'm sure to Dimitri, but what I noticed is, now even though Dimitri's comes from the same block of wood yeah. I noticed that the wood is it's a little bit squishier on his and sometimes when you just leave it it kind of just droops down a little bit oh, now is that, nice. is that is that that did you do that for a reason or like, I yeah. find that very because, because the meat is very flexible oh. so, so oh. I, ha I have to make <laughs> I have to make something to to go with his personality yeah. you on the other hand you are very ahead I'm not quite sure about that. Oh, go ahead. No, that's rumors. Yeah. I heard that you are hard as steel. Hard, yes. Oh, like I'm not quite sure which part of you. <laughs> but, but I, I, I don't want to know, not to be honest. One, and and we're, not, know. we're not talking about the cheap stainless steel either. We're talking about the 316L <laughs> stuff, okay? Talk to me about Damascus. How does, uh, because if you look at it, it's so beautiful. It, it's almost like a, a piece of wood with the grains in it. Yes. How does that happen? Uh, that's a different uh, layers. It has actually from 250 up to 320 layers of steel. Hand fold and uh, twisted, and then hand fold again, and all that process takes days, and that's how you end up with this kind of product. Absolutely beautiful, and, and talk to me about Mod Addy. How did Mod Addy get started? How Mod Addy get started, okay. I switched to vape, and uh, when I tried to buy some gear for vaping, I didn't like the mods that I've seen over there. And I was handcrafting things all of my life, for my kids, for, for the house, everything. So I decided to grab a drill, grab a Dremel, and start making molds. The first one was just a piece of uh, uh, wood, normal wood, no stuff. Uh, it was Iroko, and I still have it. I give it to my wife with the Aris on top. Oh, okay. The story that I told you before, yeah. Which is a wonderful story, thank you. It's for a that. wonderful story. Yeah. And, and that Aris was the uh, was the reason for my wife that switched over to vaping, because the easy refill system that he has and uh, the big tank, it was amazing. Which yeah, is the whole that, that, yeah, that the does whole mean a lot to us. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so I started with, uh, with a piece of uh, wood, and uh, and I really loved what I was doing. I mean, I love creating things with my hands. So I decided because some of my friends saw uh, saw my work and say, okay, I want one. And then I started buying uh, stuff good because I had to be, it had to be beautiful, it had to be unique. And that's how my daddy created. And what exactly do you do other than just scream Malacca out of the blue? <laughs> Everybody knows me. 
automatically Malaga. <laughs> yep. Everybody loves me. Yeah, everybody loves me. So, so you're the front man. You're the front man. You're the hype guy. Yeah, I'm the yeah, hype. Yeah, yeah, you are. I'm the hype guy. You are. Yeah. Everybody loves you. I'm real. You, all the, yeah. I love that what I do. I love vaping. I love with the, with the guys all around me to to talk with the guys to to told uh, to say that's good, that's not good, perfect taste, that's good liquid. I love that what I do. It's and, hobby, it, hobby. And, it, and it really does show passion, because. You're, you're always so excited. It's always a lot of fun to come over here and talk to you. You know, you're, you, you can see you're excited. There's a lot of passion there. The most important is we don't smoke anymore. Bingo, bingo. Yeah. Very, very important. Well, I tell you what, it was a lot of fun talking to you guys. I wish you all the yep. best of luck. If people are interested in your mods, where can they go? Uh, they can go to the Facebook group and or can PM me. But in generally, um, I'm just, you know, making mods for fun, for passion and just put it on the on the side on the group it's not actually uh like i said it's not for production right so yeah pm or facebook facebook not added yep. yep it'll be on the screen it'll be on the screen thank you guys so much thank you for talking thank to you me so much. thank you very much for thank the mod so and and i love you guys you got a, you got a lot of passion you got a lot of energy and thank you thank you who, who, who do you love more me or phil Ah, oh my god! No, no, okay. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh, oh you my But I love you on the top. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. Yeah, he loves you on the top, which is good because he likes it on the bottom. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right, thanks a lot. Thank you. Stuttgart, Germany 2018, the Hall of Vape with Mod Ad. Hall of Vape 2018 here in Stuttgart, Germany. Guess what, Phil? Guess what? I know, another Greek modern. Another Greek modern. And my question to you, of course, Dimitris, why do I not have a Palm BF? That's my question. No, I'm serious. Uh, I'm here with Dimitri with Eminem Vapors. You know, he's been around for a very, very long time. <laughs> so not only is it another Greek modern, but his name is Dimitri, too. <laughs> uh, makers of the Poldiac, and of course, now the very, very popular Palm BF. People go crazy over this mod. Every time that you open up a list, I know everybody fills out. But you have something really, really interesting. The first one I have ever seen, okay? Think. This is a Palm BF with 75C DNA chip. Exactly. And, of course, it is a squonker. Yes. What kind of battery does this take? 21700. Why did you choose to up the batteries? That the demand, uh, you know, we've talked about this in the past. The consumers ask you for products, right? Yes. You have to be able to respond. Is that the reason why you created this? I uh, I was waiting for this for a long time. I mean, uh, for six months now, customers ask for 21 yeah. uh, or 2700. Right. And the DNA say, so I was waiting to be sure that now is the time. Now yeah. we have the batteries to support what the customers need. Correct. So I think you know better, but I think now it's the time to... I truly believe the 21700 battery is going to overtake the market in the next two years. Exactly. By far the 18650 battery. I think so too. So let's show, me, show us a little bit about the device. And you know, all these are made handmade, one by one. This gentleman sits in his workshop and every one of them goes through your hands, right? Thank you. Thank you. I have helpers but I have to manage everything. Yeah, of course. Everything. So show us a little bit of the uniqueness of the palm. Uh, this one is for, from Juma, Zuma. Juma mod, yeah. Juma, Juma mod. And we have mosaic buttons that is lathe worked, you know? Yeah. And uh, we, we use the MM510 and the BFX bottle, uh, the silicone. And then we have just a simple uh, sliding door, unscrew to put your yes. battery inside. Of course, you'll be able to put an 18650 with an adapter inside course, as well, too, right? Of course, of course. We're going to have a sleeve, so it's going to be easier for the 18650. For the 2700, it's not necessary to do anything. You just put it, tighten it up. It's OK. One thing that you might not know about these mods, and I want everybody to know, is that you can get various finishes for them, which again is unique even for the Palm BF that you make now. Well, yes. You make a white Delrin. When we say customized, this is my job, uh, the customer will uh, start with choosing his block with, uh, in our gallery, uh, choose his uh, kind of buttons, seracoated or not, mosaic buttons or uh, seracoating tube, and we go step by step. and the customer is always happy, I think. That's the main thing. And you know, when you finish, 
There's this wonderful girl named Miriam back in Greece. So hi, Miriam. She takes every piece that's finished and she makes a personalized video for the customer before it's sent out. So it's really, really unique and it's a really nice process. And I'm proud, not only is he Greek, but I'm proud that he's Dimitri as well too. He's a bit shorter than me, but other than that, I'm really, really proud of him. A good job. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Hall of Ape 2018 Stuttgart here with MM Vapors. So that is about it. That's about it, guys. As you can imagine, we could do a ton of interviews at a show like that, but we're already at an hour and a half worth of video here. So, um, you know, if we don't talk to you, it is absolutely nothing personal. Maybe the next time. Um, we're going to do some final words here and wrap this video up. To Ira and Dennis and everybody else involved with the Hall of Vape, thank you so much for having us and thank you for the hospitality. To all of the German vapers who came up and said hello, thank you guys. To Inikin for allowing us to hang out at the booth and having our platform products there. To Sammy and Rafi from uh, Vape Distribution for having the Bromance line of e-liquid there. Also to Intaste for actually picking up the Bromance line for the German market. We're really excited about that. Thank you guys. To Rocky for inviting us to the beer garden again for uh, dinner with all of those vapors. Right down to the guy who gave us the sausages. Uh, we really do appreciate the German vapors and we look forward to visiting with you again soon. Final thoughts. How do you, how do you wrap this one up? Because we, we actually enjoyed this one. We enjoyed this one because we came to Germany a few days early. We got to drive the Porsches. We got to go to the Porsche Museum. Uh, we got to see the Mercedes Museum. So we actually took a couple of days for ourselves and really enjoyed this one. But I mean, the show, the show is, I mean, look at the show. Look at all the people. Look at, it, it is absolutely massive. You know, when you're down there, you know it's big and you know there's a lot of people. But when you're up here and you're filming it, you, you really get a sense of how big this show is. It's been fantastic. I think two of the, the, the things that like touched me the most, number one, Melinda. Melinda, I hope you watch this video because uh, our, our little moment there together after we uh, left the stage meant a lot to me. Melinda quit smoking. She was very, very emotional. She thanked me for helping her out in her journey. And, and, and that to me, that is what this is all about to me. Still, to this day, that's what this is all about. And I guess the other special thing, and, and I was surprised, and I think Dimitri was really surprised too. We had at least 15 people come up to us and thank us for doing the Smoker Show, telling us what a great idea that the Smoker Show is. I didn't think anybody from Germany even knew what the Smoker Show is, but um, I think that's fantastic. We're really looking forward to, to coming back to the show and, and seeing how Ira matures this, how he changes this, how he improves this, because I think he's only scratching the surface. We've talked to him a lot. Uh, we've got some bad labels down there. Hopefully he's gonna weed some of that stuff out and continue to grow this event, to mature the event, and keep it one of the best events in vaping. So to all the folks in Stuttgart, thank you so much for having us. Thank you for coming up to us and having chats with us and shaking our hands. We really do appreciate it. And now, Dimitri's final words. Hello, my fellow vapers. Dimitri the Vaping Greek here. Hall of Ape 2018 Stuttgart, Germany comes to an end. What an amazing time and an amazing event. I think clearly at this point, the Hall of Ape has taken the lead as being one of the best and biggest shows in Europe and maybe, maybe worldwide. Ira and the uh, organizing team always do a fantastic job making sure that everybody is happy from the vendors and the consumers that are there. And of course us, thank you so much for inviting us uh, year after year. One of the things that I will take away from this event is the passion of the German vapors. Uh, we travel to a lot of European countries, but the passion here that we see from the Germans is just unbelievable. Whether you cloud chase, whether you're MTLer, they're very, very passionate about quitting smoking and always willing to help. And you can see that they turn out. Almost 20,000 people are going to come through this event hall this weekend. It's something that we have uh, not come to see in the last two, three years of different shows that are going on around the world. So please, if you're a vapor, get out there and support these shows. Show tobacco harm reduction and show the big tobacco companies and the pharmaceutical companies that this is how we do it. So thanks again for having us. Thank you to all the German vapors, the organizers, and I look forward to coming again next year and kicking Phil's ass again and driving the Porsche. Can I taste your juice? Are you recording? Oh yeah, the red light's on. Uh, you wanna cue me? <laughs> the love that always these German vapors send us. <laughs> Iron, irons, it's iron, irons, it's iron, irons, and uh, yeah, iron, it's iron, called iron, yeah, and, and iron, ironing boards. Yeah.